are in the Mother Superior, which is in the heart of Leith, um, which is just outside Edinburgh City Centre in Scotland. We're in, I suppose, Leith's newest whiskey bar, an exciting spot and venue. And it became perfect for Witches and Whiskey because me and Christine had a vision and then I obviously had to buy a bar, so we had a venue. <laughs> to host this in. Um, the venue actually opened only in September 2021. We're just in this big community, which has a history of distilling and brewing and multiple up and coming distilleries. So it seems perfectly fitting for what we're kind of doing with this. I think Witches and Whiskey is a celebration of just Scottish culture, of storytelling, music, the, the water of life. It's something that joins all the different aspects of the culture together in a, in a theatrical way. And it makes whiskey tastings generally are more, I'm gonna say in a way more male oriented. And I think, you know, generally when, when the public think of a whiskey tasting, they think of, uh, you know, this kind of stuffy atmosphere that's, that, that's almost a little bit intimidating. And we wanted to create something that's a little bit more magical and a little bit, you know, when people first heard the name, I think they were expecting gimmick. They're expecting us to be in costumes and almost be like the Edinburgh Dungeons when really we're kind of doing a celebration of culture. When we get together in this room and we tell these stories and I sing these songs and Jane so beautifully describes these whiskies using imagery, which is both so apt that it's, <laughs> it's insane sometimes and really funny. It feels like we enter a space that is outside of where we are now. We transcend to a different level. And that's exactly what we want to do with Whiskey and Witches. We want to offer a tasting that is it's quite different and that goes more in depth with the spirit itself, which is why we turn to the spirits of folklore, to mythical beasts. And that was why we were so excited when we were approached by spirit fields. Um, because they have these line of whiskies called Mythical Beasts. So for me, that was a dream come true. And I had so much fun writing those stories and finding the music, both my own compositions that fitted to it and uh, Scottish folk songs that I then arranged in new ways to fit to those, those different beasts. They just make really good whiskey. <laughs> and for someone who has a whiskey bar, who has 200 whiskies on her shelf, People are fighting for space and they make it really easy to give them a position on the shelf. They make dis like distilleries a little bit more exciting because they're putting that little twist on it that, and something that you wouldn't really expect. All these big collaborations happen and I get to work with, I suppose, independent bottlers that I really respect. But I've been to a thousand whiskey events over the years and I never thought I would be surprised again. Today was sensational. It was such a great story about whiskies and stories and legends as kind of what Scotch whisky is all about. Dave Broom recently wrote a book about whisky and place and people. This was so much more than that. Uh, Lisa set it up, Jane told some great stories and some fantastic tasting notes, almost in the Scottish Malt Whisky Society style actually and Christine singing, which is so passionate that uh, I almost had tears in my eyes at some of the songs. Quite frankly, it's the best whiskey event I've ever attended, I think. Quite exciting that people are seeing whiskey in a new light and trusting two witchy women to, to tell them all about it. To me, whiskey is the distillation of a land and uh, it's the distillation of the spirit of Scotland. So connecting that spirit to the creatures that inhabit that land. And they elevate and they complement each other so well. And I think that's why Whiskey and Witches work. Because it comes from that deep, sincere place of interest and love for nature and for these creatures and for compiling it all together into this beautiful tasting.